Okay, hello everyone, I'm Andres Branwage. I am a student at the Bali Nusa Dua Tourism Institute and this is a video essay about the 2016 FITE video topic, The Future We Want. In this video, I would like to talk about how the development of tourism industry that doesn't consider the environmental aspect could very danger the ecosystem. In this case, one of the ecosystem that its existence has been impacted by tourism and industrial activities is the mangrove ecosystem. Mangrove ecosystem has several advantages to the environment. The extent of mangrove ecosystem in Indonesia is estimated to be around 3 million acres spreading in several provinces. The mangrove in Indonesia is considered as the largest in the world, but sadly, most of it are in severe condition. Let us take Bali as an example. Bali is one of Indonesia's most beautiful islands which has mangrove ecosystem in it. But because of the tourism industrial activities, this ecosystem is threatened and in some areas has been destroyed. This thing happens because of some industrial and human activities such as reclamation working at the coastal area to make space for housing, hotels, development of bridge, highway, household waste pollution, the conversion of mangrove into agriculture land, ponds, etc. Since long time ago, Bali is already famous as one of the world tourism destinations with the nickname the Island of God. Bali is known of its nature and cultural beauty. No wonder, the establishment of buildings and hotels in Bali is happening so fast. Of course, it's good news for the economy and income for the population in Bali. But the question remains, is it also good for the environment? According to the research from the Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries Republic of Indonesia, each year there is a descent portion of the vast area of mangrove ecosystem in Indonesia lost due to land conversion or climate change impact. But perhaps the most serious threat to mangroves is the perception among the society and the government employees that mangrove is just less useful resource and only suitable to use as waste dump or converted for other purposes. If we don't correct this wrong perception about mangrove, then the future of mangrove will be very gloomy. According to the research, mangrove ecosystem gives several benefits to the environment, from being natural breeding place for fish, crabs, shrimp, reptiles, and some species of bird, preventing seawater intrusion, preventing erosion, biodiversity resources to providing wood materials. However, with the further degradation of mangrove ecosystem condition, due to industrial activities and waste pollution, then a rehabilitation and conservation program is a must thing to do. The question is, how we achieve this goal to make mangrove green and sustainable again? The answer is simple but very important, and that is through empowering and embracing the local communities in rehabilitation and conservation effort. By doing so, we give the people and the local communities a chance to contribute their effort. This will automatically increase the sense of belonging and responsibility of the people to the mangrove they have. Are these activities of buildings, development, and industry entirely detrimental? Of course they are not. Development and industrial activity is good news for financial security of the locals and open a big opportunities for jobs, business, and career. But we should know that all of this do not worth losing our environment. We must change the perception that mangrove ecosystem is not so profitable one. The community should have a sense of responsibility toward the sustainable of mangrove forest they have. There are also some additional things that we can consider in maintaining and preserving the mangrove ecosystem to achieve maximum result. These include, first, create inventory database. Mangrove inventory activity is needed to determine its condition. Second, applying sustainable management, as well as giving the awareness to the society about the protection function, environmental function, and socio-economic function of the mangrove ecosystem. Third, ensuring that natural production decline due to exploitation may be balanced by the action of rejuvenation and development. Fourth, conducting research and scientific studies of the mangrove ecosystem. Fifth, mangrove utilization as a sustainable ecotourism. There are so many things we can do to preserve the mangrove ecosystem, but the question is, are we willing to put forth all the necessary effort? So, what is the future we want? The future we want is the development of tourism industry and ecotourism that always pays attention for, to the environmental aspect and responsible for the ecosystem around, for the sake of the common good and for the good of the next generations.